Om Swastiastu. My name is Chris and I was born and raised in Bali. My father comes from the UK, London, and my mother from a small village in North Bali called Singaraja. Growing up in Bali, I was exposed to mysticism and spirituality. My grandpa was a Balian, or what the Balinese call a healer. Now, a Balian or a healer, they use mantras and chants and the energies of the body to help people heal from certain sicknesses, be it mental, emotional or physical. Growing up around that environment was, was really interesting. It really fascinated me. So from a young age, I developed this interest for biology and for science, and I wanted to understand how this worked. That led me to studying biomedical science and nutrition. I felt that what they were teaching me in university was only a part of the picture. So what I did was try to merge what I learned in university, the Western philosophies of health, and the Balinese or the Eastern mysticism and spirituality to create a holistic approach to health and medicine. That did work out so well. That was actually really, really difficult. You know, I feel that I, I didn't know enough of both, perhaps why that I failed. But in that process of failure, I discovered something else, and that was photography. When I was still in university, I think it was the second year, and I was sat in my garden and I saw this caterpillar I had never seen before. And I only had my phone with me. That was the only thing that I had to capture this beautiful creature. And I snapped away and I just felt incredible. It created a feeling inside of me that I had lost for a long, long time. And I guess that's, that's, that's what started this interest, this desire, photography, you know, to capture moments that, that have meaning to me. The pictures I took with my phone weren't that great. The process of taking the pictures was, was, was amazing, but I wasn't happy with the results I was getting. By luck, I found this group on Facebook and some of the pictures they were posting were pretty incredible. I wanted to have the same results, so I tried buying different clip-on macro lenses, but it just didn't work. And I realized I had to create something myself. Fortunately, my dad had an old DSLR lens laying around in the house. And so by curiosity, I deconstructed the whole thing to see how the optics work, the mechanics, and, and if I can apply that to my phone. I found that you can use the glass inside the lens, attach that to your smartphone, and then that gives you an incredible magnification effect. That began the process of me experimenting and recycling old DSLR lenses and attaching them to my phone. And then once I have the optics, I I develop a mounting system just using a normal clip and some pipe and I stick everything together and the final result is a clip-on lens that can be used with all types of smartphones and can produce DSLR-like quality. People ask me, oh, what lens are you using? You know, they, they can't believe the quality of the images that you can take just with your smartphone. But the key is, it's the lens that makes a difference. My dream is to give people who can't afford a DSLR or want to travel light the opportunity to capture amazing memories using only their smartphones. In Bali, both men and women have equal opportunities to make their dreams come true. Believe in yourself, don't be afraid of failure and never give up. Percaya dengan diri anda dan jangan pernah menyerah. Suksema Chris! Suksema Mawali!